Okay, we're gonna do number six on this page because it's the only one that's kind of tricky uh, for your last pretty much two pages. It's not bad. So here we go. A 0.6 kilogram volleyball flies towards Gus at 12 meters per second. Gus applies a force of 900 newtons and the ball to the ball and sends it back the way it came from at 18 meters per second. How long was his hand in contact with the ball? Okay. Bam, mass. We have our kind of initial velocity, we have our force, and then we have kind of our final velocity. A couple things to think about that make this important. Uh, well, let's just write it out. Mass equals 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.60, doesn't matter, kilograms. Initial velocity equals 12. Final velocity, well, I guess it's right there, but we'll see. And force equals 900 newtons. So let's write our formula. Our formula is our impulse, which is force times change in time equals mass times change in velocity there we go. So let's plug stuff in. Force, 900 newtons times our change in time, which we don't know, equals our mass, 0.6, we'll say 0 0.60 just so it's easier, times our change in velocity. What's our change in velocity? So our change in velocity is our final velocity minus our initial velocity. So our final velocity was 18 meters per second minus our initial velocity which keep in mind this stuff is a vector momentum is a vector so what does that mean that means direction matters pretty much is what vector means direction matters so let's say this was east right which means this was west so technically this is a negative number so 18 minus a minus 12 right so that that that's very important because if you don't do that you're gonna get the wrong answer right so our initial velocity our final velocity is 18 meters per second our initial velocity is negative 12 meters per second because it's the opposite direction right so the volleyball ends up going this way it starts out going this way so that's why this is negative and remember the change in velocity is final minus initial so that's why this minus sign is already going to be here so minus and minus equals plus right so that should be 0.60 times 30 because minus and minus is plus which equals 900 times change in time now the rest is cake right the rest is a piece of cake so now we have Let's combine them all up. So 0 0.6, where's my calculator at? Huh. So 0 0.6 times 30 actually is 18. Yeah, because I was looking at my uh, notes I just wrote, and I'm like, 18, but that's that, and it threw me off. But yeah, so 0 0.6 times 30 is 18. So we have 18 equals 900 times time. Divide that 900, divide that 900. So we have time equals, let me do it on a calculator. Point zero 0.02 seconds. Which makes sense, right? Because if he hits that volleyball, boom, it's real fast. Point zero 0.02 seconds. So things to note. It's a vector, so direction matters. That's why the final velocity was one and the initial velocity was another right one had to be negative because they were different directions so very important things in mind otherwise same formula you're plugging it all these questions are pretty easy this unit honestly overall is it's not very hard the next one might be a little tricky but the next one's really not bad either all right guys have an awesome day